How's it going there YouTube? This is Quinn, that snazzy iPhone guy, and this is the video review of the XShot Universal Handheld Tripod, uh, not only for iPhone 4, but also for any other compact camera out there. Now, what I'm gonna be reviewing here, even though it sounds like a bundled package, is actually two separate products. They're both gonna run you $29.99 a piece, so the total damage is 60 bucks. Now, we'll get into that in a minute, and you can choose one over the other. You don't need both, but both just so happen to work out to be a very excellent combo. So here's the X-Shot. This is the tripod right here. It is, uh, like I said, $30, and in this, that's pretty much all you get. You have this lanyard, you have a really soft, nice, soft touch feel uh, on the handle, on the grip. You're going to get, uh, this of course is extendable, and it will extend up to uh, just over two and a half feet, so it is very long. Uh, the awesome thing about the X-Shot is I feel like with a lot of these cheaper camera accessories, don't get me wrong, 30 bucks isn't cheap, but when we're talking about cameras and tripods and all that other stuff, 30 bucks isn't a lot of money. I mean, go look at the Joby Gorilla Pods. They almost start at 50 bucks. The thing that I'm really impressed with about the X-Shot is the build quality is like almost phenomenal. And, uh, you know, $30 is a little bit hard to swallow for this simple of a product, but the build quality and, you know, just the overall craftsmanship of this is pretty dang good. Uh, as for the mount, uh, it's pretty basic. You're going to find yourself a uh, little spinning rotator here for the screw. It's padded on the top so you can screw into your uh, camera just fine. And then you're going to find this little adjuster here. If there's a weak part about this product, it's this. Um, this is really hard to tighten and really hard to loosen. And uh, even if you tighten it really, really hard, um, this still seems to want to wobble around a little bit. So they could have made this like I don't know, they could have done something with it to make it so that it's a little bit harder to tighten, excuse me, a little bit harder to move around, but also a little bit easier to tighten. And then of course we have the X-Shot for iPhone 4. Now this is the other part, this is uh, 30 bucks as well. Um, inside this case, which is a very nice retail packaging, you're going to find yourself a couple of little accessories. First of all, you have a case, which for 30 bucks is accomplishment in and of itself. Uh, in case, and a bunch of other companies are at their church, 35 bucks for all of their cases. This is a soft touch slider style case. It's not the best case in the world. The side is exposed here, and then the top is exposed. But, I mean, it's not a bad case at all. And of course you get a tripod mount with this also. So, you're gonna get two of these. These are the little mounts which the X-Shot goes on to. Uh, we have one already mounted to the also included tripod. So this is a little bit dinky, but it comes with it. This works fine. It's very versatile. It's not as good as the Gorilla Pod in my opinion, but um, you know, it works. It's a little nifty tripod you can fold up, throw in your bag, do whatever you want. Anyway, so we got this case. Unfortunately, it is a very tight fit. So it's not gonna work with any skins you may have. This is an actual wood backing on my iPhone. It's not a skin or anything. It's like actual, the casing or the whole back part is wood. Uh, it's from a company called 2.5 and I'll be doing a review on that soon. But um, it's a very, I mean, it's pretty hard to get on. You slide it on. Uh, that's good though, because you know it's a good fit. You gotta get the top piece on. Sorry, I'm doing this off camera, it's kind of hard. There we go. Uh, you get it snapped in and you're good to go. You have the back, it's a very nice soft touch feel. Uh, like I said, the side is exposed and the top is exposed. Uh, but other than that, you know, it's pretty well covered up. You do have lay on the table design, so that's nice. And then on the bottom, that is quite a bit of recession in there, but I mean, if you have, for example, my car is notorious of having a 30 pin dock connector that's really huge. And the problem with that is it doesn't work with pretty much every case. I mean, 50% of the cases I get will not work with this. But the X-Shot, even though it is extremely recessed, will work with some of those fatter 30 pin dock connectors, so that's nice. So you have this mounting system on the bottom, and then you have a mounting system on the side, and these little clips which act and screw onto your tripod or wherever you want. And this is the other thing, it comes with this mini tripod, but it's also universal. I mean, you could screw this onto any tripod um, in the world and uh, it would fit just fine. So you slide on the side, it snaps, and uh, you're good to go. So I'll show you this with the included mini tripod, which I think is a little bit gimmicky, but it works just fine for what it is. Uh, we got it right here. We take our iPod or our iPhone, we slide it in the side, and uh, it's good to go. You gotta adjust the legs so that your iPhone doesn't fall over. But um, all in all, you know, it stands up just fine and then you can also mount it vertically. So you take this, flip it upwards, and the same result follows. These are flexible legs so you can uh, adjust things a little bit to your liking. A little bit, I mean, <laughs> not a ton, because it is kind of uh, 
it's a little bit touchy. Anyway, um, so this is $30 for the iPhone 4 case with this and these mounts. The main reason I think it's a good value is because these mounts can mount to any tripod out there. And then of course you can buy this for an additional $30 and this is made to mount to any old compact standard camera but it'll also mount to this if you have the case. So we'll do a demonstration of both and uh, get into the final thoughts and reviews of this. All right, so first up we have the X-Shot mount, and then we have the uh, we have a Canon Vixia HF10, which is a it's a pretty big camcorder. I mean, it's not light at all, and uh, we're gonna see how the X-Shot holds up to it. So you gotta screw it on here. Uh, it's pretty easy. Just take that, screw that in, tighten it as much as you can, straighten it, and then uh, you gotta adjust where this is going to tighten. So we are going to do it at this angle because that works the best when you're shooting video of yourself. Let's get that in there. Okay, that's pretty tight. And now we're gonna turn the camera on. We're gonna hit record. And uh, we are going to demonstrate how this works. So it's now recording and we can extend this to the full three feet. And as you can see, uh, once we tighten this a tad bit more, it's a little bit harder to tighten with heavier cameras as I stated earlier. So. Uh, there we go. All right. Uh, as you can see right there, that is like in full view of me. I mean, it's I'm almost to where uh, the secondary camera is. It's a very long reach. Um, the arm doesn't flex much at all. It holds up just fine. And this is a, this could be considered a heavy camera. So it does a great job of mounting this. And the iPhone 4 is even better than that. So uh, there you go. That's a good demo. Uh, we can pull this back in and uh, call it good. So let's move to uh, our iPhone 4 and of course we will mount the iPhone 4 with the uh, X-Shot case. So we have one of these little tripod mounts, these little ditties, we remember these before. Uh, just gotta tighten this onto the X-Shot arm and now we're good to go already. Uh, we can tilt this up, tighten it again and uh, we can choose to slide on horizontal or vertical, like I stated before. Uh, we're going to do horizontal. It snaps in just dandy. And, uh, you know, it, I mean, it is on there. This thing ain't coming off. You know, it is, it is nice and secure. So let's take our iPhone. We'll slide to unlock, get our camera app up, turn to the video mode, which it's already on, press record, and we are good to go. So as you can see, Again, as with always, uh, this is filming me as we speak. Uh, it's not, you know, it's pretty, it's pretty good. You can take pictures, of course. Now people have asked me, well, Quinn, how are you going to take a picture on your iPhone if you can't reach it? That's a good point, but people use your brains. There's the App Store. It has 200,000 apps. There are so many applications out there that have this quick countdown kind of deal, and uh, it works just fine. So all in all, the X-Shot is a very unique but very good product. Uh, it's very well built. I mean, seriously, even at three feet, I can shake this like crazy, and the iPhone is not going to go anywhere. It stays intact and stays good, and that's uh, really the the kind of quality and craftsmanship you want on uh, on a product that's protecting your camera. So you want to shoot, but you want it to work and you want it to be secure. And the X shot is that. It doesn't matter if you're in portrait or in landscape. This phone ain't going anywhere. So it is a little bit on the pricier side, but all in all, it is an excellent product, and I can recommend it. On the snazzy scale of 1 to 10, the uh, iPhone 4 case itself gets a 6. It's a good case. It's a great value. Uh, one of the issues I have with it, and the reason it's not higher than a 6, uh, keep in mind, people, a 6 is good. That's like, honestly, that is a good rating on my scale. Uh, the reason it's not any higher than a 6 is because you don't get this included. This is an additional charge of $30. As for this, 30 bucks for this kind of deal is really cheap. I mean, you'll spend $80 on a tripod that's not that great. So the value in this is pretty fantastic. It expands to two and a half feet and the X-Shot 2.0 will expand to three feet. It's super sturdy, very well built. I'm not worried about this anytime soon. And it feels like one of the most quality products I've ever tried under 30 bucks. So the X-Shot itself is a seven out of 10. It is a very, very good product. Excellent value, excellent build quality. This little mechanism up here is a little bit of a trouble but other than that this is a most definite buy so thank you so much for watching this is quinn that snazzy iphone guy subscribe rate and comment and as always stay snazzy see you later folks